Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on my newest addition to the Cub family. It's a 2019 XT1 LT42. Um, that basically means it's a 42 inch cut. And yeah, it's yellow just like the Challenger. Speaking of the Challenger, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Um, 33.7 hours on it as of today and knock wood still no issues it's still running the same as it was the day that i bought it which was perfect so i guess you could say i'm a little impartial to cub cadet products i did have a push mower probably five or six years ago and it worked great for two years and then the warranty bell went off and basically it uh, didn't work so great anymore so with the cubs that I've had and this is actually the fourth product from Cub Cadet I uh, only had bad experience with one of them so anyway I just wanted to do a quick review on this machine um, I could have pretty much bought any ride and mower that I wanted but this is the one that I did some reviews on and uh, or I should say check some reviews on and I have to dig out my notes because you know when you have so much on your plate it's hard to remember everything going on but this has 4.6 stars with 130 reviews on the Cub site which is actually pretty impressive that it's actually on the Cub site not Amazon or Home Depot or one of them places so I went and checked it out at the dealer I didn't buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's. I actually bought it from the dealer. It had a list price of $16.99, and they had a deal going on with $100 off, so I paid $15.99 for it. And um, I don't know, to tell you the truth, if it's the same machine at the dealer as it is at Lowe's or Home Depot, but uh, I chose a dealer because my local dealer is pretty reputable, and any issues, I've never had a problem with them, so that's why I chose them. So, we can take a quick peek. Let's start with under the hood. And yeah, it's dirty because it's been raining here for, it seems like, years. Well, I've only been back seven or eight months, but it's been raining since I've gotten back. Snow and rain. Um, and I did cut the grass in the rain because, as you know, I haven't been here for a while and things were terribly overgrown. Now this is the um, the 18 horsepower Kohler cast iron sleeved engine. I don't know what the deal is here. I did read some reviews that uh, theirs were made in China, so maybe there's a difference between dealer bought and brand name store bought, big box store. I'm not really sure. But um, unless you're trying to bale hay with it, I've cut some pretty tall wet grass and I have not had an issue with power. So, that being said, it is a hydrostatic drive, um, forward, reverse. This is your forward pedal. This is your reverse pedal. Now, if you look at the key spot, when it's running, to go into reverse, basically you move the key one click to the left and press this button, and you can mow in reverse without any issues. It does have an hour meter. It does have parking brake and cruise control. You can set the speed at whatever you want and uh, manipulate this lever to set your, uh, your cruise control on. As far as the mowing height, you have um, four selections with one, I'm sorry, four being the highest. And of course it's labeled low for low. The blade engagement is here. The dealer told me to engage this slowly and disengage it slowly. He said that helps the belt last. I'll take his word for it. You have a battery underneath the seat. This is pretty common, I guess. There is a safety sensor on the suite. A suite. <laughs> Sorry. On the seat. If you get off with the blades engaged, the engine will shut off. The seat is actually adjustable, 
Um, I'm just shy of six foot. So uh, I have no issues at all with the seat adjustment. It's, there's plenty of room on it for me. And I'm not all the way back. The brake lever is on this side. The engine actually has a spin-on oil filter, which is pretty cool. And the drain for changing the oil is down there. Um, let me refer to my notes here real quick. Um, let's talk about the warranty. The front pivot bar and the chassis have a five-year warranty. The rest of the machine has a three-year unlimited hour warranty. As I said, it is a 42-inch deck. The engine is a Kohler, uh, cast iron sleeved, 18 horsepower. Um, it holds 1.3 quarts of oil. The fuel tank holds three gallons. It does have the deck wash system and it comes with the adapter. You uh, plug the adapter onto that, put your hose on it, and it uh, cyclones inside and cleans the deck, which will definitely help it from rusting out prematurely. Um, you've got a fuel filter down here. That's a steering mechanism, and let me tell you about the steering. It, I actually consider it a zero turn, but this machine turns so tight that... Uh, the price difference between this and a zero turn was just not even a thought and that's why I went with this it really really does turn tight um, this machine weighs about 410 pounds dry it has a forward speed of 5.5 .5 miles an hour a rear speed of 3.1 miles per hour uh, the brakes are auto type brakes other uh, discs it has LED headlights, and as I said, I'm pretty sure I said it's a hydrostatic drive, and um, I have cut this lawn wet twice now, and this part is as low as I want it, but it looked like this prior to me cutting it. And like I said, unless you're baling hay with this machine or trying to bale hay, um, I, I haven't had any issues with power. It churns right through this wet stuff and blows it out just fine. I have zero complaints whatsoever. So, again, I just wanted to do this quick review on this particular machine. I know the Cub gets a bad rep for a lot of things. But... Uh, so far, man, unless I'm just extremely lucky, which normally isn't the case with uh, anything I do. But uh, I haven't had any issues with the Cub Cadet products, except for, like I said, that one push mower. But, um, oh, one other thing. This has the step-through chassis, so you can get on either side without much issue. There's nothing in the middle, you know, to block or step over and so forth. So... I really don't know what else to say about this machine, except that so far I really like it. I definitely like the warranty, and for the price, I mean having a warranty three years, unlimited hours, for 1600 bucks, as long as you have a good dealer that is. I don't know how that would pan out at the uh, big box stores, but if you've got a good dealer, that warranty is just, I mean that's what, 500 and sixty dollars a year seventy dollars a year something like that you know that it breaks down to <clears throat> as far as the warranty goes for the price of the machine so anyway I've got other things to uh, move on to today and I hope this helps you guys out if you're sitting on the fence about this machine thanks y'all and have a great day talk soon